What's going on guys? So today we're doing a redo with these uh, these eye loops from Harbor Freight. So I bought this, I thought it was cool, I opened it up, then I thought it was not cool, and I thought that they were, you know, not working like they should, and so I ended up giving them to uh, my niece and nephew and, and my parents, I went to visit it, we all got together for an occasion, and I just gave them to the kids to kind of play with, I figured, you know, in the summertime they can look at bugs or something. Um, and then I posted my video and you guys told me that I was using them wrong, that they were backwards. So what I want to do was I want to try it again and see if you guys are right, because it's very possible that you are right and I was just misusing them. So I have a, uh, a silver nickel here. This is a 1943 nickel. And we're going to go ahead and look at the date on this. You know, use this as an example, because that's what a lot of uh, my work with uh, loops are doing. I'm looking at knives sometimes, uh, but mostly looking at different coins and things. Now, before we get into this, I will also mention that I picked this up, which I thought was kind of cool. It's kind of old-timey. Um, but basically, this just clips onto the arm of your glasses, okay? So you put this on the side of your reading glasses, or if you have regular glasses, like all the time. And, of course, you can swing these down. These are two different magnification levels, and you can just put that in your vision to get a quick, quick peek at something that you need magnified. And then, of course, just, you know, put it back up out of your vision. So kind of cool. Worth the five bucks. I was already playing with it, and I really do like this. Um, I might actually use this more than I end up using these loops if in fact they do work how you told me to use them But anyway kind of cool. It is fully adjustable so you can find that the center of your vision there But anyway, I thought that was worth mentioning. So let's go ahead and open this. This is fresh from Harbor Freight All right, so you guys will see how I got them the first time Each one is individually wrapped and That's it one two three four five All right, so let's go ahead and open these up see which ones we got So this is 2x, wow, okay. So right off the bat, this is completely different. If you remember my first video, they were marked, they show that they're marked in white, and this doesn't matter at all, I really can care less, but the other ones weren't colored at all, but they were a lot smaller. This is way easier to see. So <laughs> definitely some inconsistencies here to start off. But hey, as long as they work, they work. We'll see. All right, so we got number two, 2x. This one's 5X. All right, we got 3X. 2, 3, 5, should be 7 and 10. Remember that first one, the 10 wasn't even marked. Oh, there's the 10. All right, so that's marked. That's good. It's back out here. I didn't realize I was still zoomed in. And... Seven, yes. Okay, so these are all clearly marked and marked big, which I actually really like. But this is the old set that I got. You see how that's marked there? You can see how this one's marked. It's the same package, same product. Obviously, just a different batch made at a different time, a different way. All right, so let's set that off to the side. So I got the, uh, the 2X. I looked at something like this, said, okay, wow, well, yeah, it's magnifying it. Cool. Then I got the three and said, all right, it's magnifying it. And I thought, wait a minute, it looks the same. And, all right, and then I tried the five, and it looked the same as the two, and then I tried the seven, that looked twice as big. I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of bigger. And then the unmarked one was the 10, and that looked the same as the two. So I did a video on that, and most people watched the video, they, they thought, just using them backwards, no big deal. Kind of stupid, but you should put the fat ends, you know, and use them like this. So I thought, all right, fine, I, you know. The whole thing is that when I when I did this the first time, I did look at it, you know, I looked at it like this, the three, and I said, no, nah, it doesn't look, you know, that much bigger. And I flipped it around, and it looked the same to me. Like even here, you can see it's magnified. If I just flip this around, it looks it looks the same. But I wasn't really scrutinizing it. In fact, doing it like this, the small end looks like it's bigger. That looks like it's smaller. So it didn't make sense to me. You know, and I, that's it. I didn't give it much more thought than that. Now, before I start this, another thing that people were, were mentioning is that obviously how far or close it is to the object is going to change how it looks. Yes, it will. But really, what is going to happen is if it's too far, it's going to be blurry. So you keep moving until it's not blurry. Once it's in focus, that's where you're magnifying it. If you keep going forward after it's in focus, it's just going to get blurry again. So there really is only one focal point. All right, so I'm trying to make this as consistent as possible for this little demo here. 
Right now I have the camera zoomed all the way out, just want to make sure of that, okay? So there's no zoom or magnification in the camera whatsoever. I have these in order, upside down, okay? So the two, then the three, then it's going to be the five, then the seven, and the ten. So we're going to go through these one at a time. First I'm going to hold the coin up here. I'm going to use my wrist actually. My wrist is against the tripod so I can keep this completely stable here. So my the coin will be the same distance from the camera lens the entire time. We're starting with the two here. Alright, so let's get a view of that. That's two times the magnification. How you want me to use it. And we're going to grab the three here. All right, you can see, three XL. My hand has not moved. That's what that looks like. So that's three times the magnification. Then we got the five. All right, that's five times the magnification. Then we got the seven. All right, seven times the magnification. And then we got the ten. All right. See that in the background? So my hand and the coin has not moved this entire time. And the 10, there we go. Now it's in focus. So there you go. So I'm going to screen cap those. And we're going to take a look at what they look like compared to each other right now. Now I'm going to flip these over. I'm going to try it how I originally tried it and see if there's any difference. Okay. Same thing. 2, 3, 5, 7, 10. Let me start with the two. Keep my hand right there. I'm not going to move my hand. So let's look at it this way, how I originally was looking at it. There's the two. You can see there's obviously more image. Try the three, which still looks the same. And it has that weird either piece of plastic or hair or something on the left. But there's the three. The five. Let that focus. Let me try it again. There we go. So the coins in the focus. The seven. Let the coin focus. Nope. Let's try to focus on the lens itself. Try it again. Come on. Try it one more time here. This is the seven, okay, and finally the 10. So I'm gonna leave the 10 here for a second. Take a look at that. This is looking at the, the little end. Let me flip it around here, looking at the big end. It's just, I'm not sure that there's any difference. I really am not seeing much difference. I'm not seeing a difference in it being bigger or smaller in either direction. It kind of looks the same to all of them. You know what I mean? Like a 10X compared to a 2X, it should be different. Like I should look through this 10X regardless of whatever side, you know, and I should be able to see like all the way up, you know, his eyeball should be the whole image. So if you guys can understand what I'm saying here, um, overall, you know, I'm gonna look at the comparisons myself. I'll have to edit this and look at the screen caps and stuff, but I don't know, I'm not convinced it makes that much of a difference which way you're looking at it. It really comes down to, in fact, let's go ahead and look at this instead. I forget the magnifications on here. But this seems to just work a lot better. It seems like, you know, better quality lenses. All right, so get that focus. There we go. That's magnifying quite a bit. Let's go ahead and switch to the other one. Not as much, right? So this is lower magnification. So let's do this. Let's do a low one first. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Oh, I need to see that a little bit better. That certainly works. I need it even bigger. Even better. You know what I'm saying? That's all I was looking for. It's not a really, really big deal or anything. I just wanted to, I just want to try this again. Uh, so if you happen to have this set, please post your, your opinions. I don't mean like jeweler's loops in general. I use tons of jeweler's loops and there's definitely a difference. So anyway, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to clarify that I don't think that these work as advertised. Like my, that's my original opinion on it, but I don't think it's because I was using them wrong because when I flip it around, I don't see much difference. The comparison videos might tell a little bit more and I might annotate at the end here after I see them myself. Yeah, it works, but I'm just saying, I just don't see it. It's not a quick visual like, yeah, this is definitely the right way. This is definitely the wrong way. 
It's just really hard to tell. All right, <laughs> I'm back again. So I can't, I just can't get this out of my mind. I'm literally doing this with uh, Christina. I'm like, hey, look at this. Do you see a difference? So, all right, here's what I have concluded. First of all, for the people who commented who actually use jeweler's loops, all right, uh, eye loops, um, it makes total sense that you are supposed to look through the rimmed end. And the reason for that is, and as someone mentioned, who was very smart, is that like a jeweler, to be hands-free, so they can look at, you know, a piece of jewelry, or whatever, handle it with both hands, you will use your eye, you know, around your eye to kind of grip that cup. You know what I mean? So you, if you, you know, open your, your muscles or just make your eyes wide, put the cup here, and then you're using basically your um, eyelids to, to grip it. So this is now on your face, hands-free. Doing this on this end would be more difficult because there's no lip here. That's what that actual lip, I suppose, could be used for, to grip, grip it in your eye so it's hands-free. So that does make sense to me. Now, in really, really testing this, and, and this is the problem because I'm filming with a camera, uh, you're not looking through my eyeballs. You can't see it in person. Um, so I don't know if like the computer or the, you know, the lens inside the, um, the camera is focusing different than my eyeball focuses because I did notice that like the distance for the focus point is a little bit different. It has to be a little bit further or closer depending on what magnification it is. Um, but when I actually got it into focus, it just doesn't seem that different. Does that make sense? It doesn't seem all that different, the actual magnification. But you know, holding the coin here steady is not really a fair comparison because there are different focal points, you know, in person. I just, you know, my eyeball, when I look at something, my eyeball doesn't work like the camera works and you know goes in and out until it's a you know a sharp image. So who knows? Maybe this it's a flawed test, but at the end of the day, regardless of whether these are good or not, because I really can't tell, um, I will have to agree. I will have to throw in the, the towel here, wave, wave the white flag and just say, yeah, you guys are right. By the simple fact that this rim is on this side, so it is easy to cup this inside your eye socket to use it hands-free. And when you do see images, you know, if you Google images of eye loops and people using them, generally speaking, if they are like this, and I think a lot of them are, uh, the fatter end is up against the person's eye. So, fair enough. So I was using them improperly, but now that I use them properly, I still really don't see much of a difference. I'm not convinced that at the factory where they make these, they have a bunch of 7X lenses, a bunch of 5s. If they do, maybe QC is pretty bad because I just feel like they're all in a pile and they're all the same lens. Or maybe a couple are different, but they're not paying attention and, and who cares? You know what I mean? Who cares? It's a $4 set of eye loops. So there you go, just to clarify everything in the end, I do agree with you guys. I definitely should have been looking through this end of it, but what I see doesn't really matter. I can grab any of these, it just makes it a little bit bigger. So <laughs> that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.